I'm going to show you how to power this motor using a 9 volt power supply without using the 5 volt power supply of the Arduino. Two power supplies are going to be separate, but we're going to connect the grounds together. You can use a 9 volt battery if you'd like, but I've got a DC variable power supply, so I'm just going to use that at 9 volts, but a 9 volt battery will work just fine. First, I want to start by connecting pin 9 to the breadboard. Next, one K resistor. This is to protect the Arduino, just in case anything bad happens, any short circuits on the 9 volt side, it won't hurt the Arduino. Next, we're going to use an NPN transistor. Um, I've used a couple of different types of NPN transistors. Uh, they all seem to work the same. Just make sure it's not a PNP transistor or it will not work correctly. Goes there. I'll show you a close up of it when I get done. Collector, base, emitter. The emitter's on this side. One farad capacitor. This is to smooth out the voltages. Then standard diode. Now we'll hook up the motor. One lead goes to positive, the other one goes in between the diode and the capacitor. Just like that. I'll show you a close up of it what it's supposed to look like. So far it should look like that. From the emitter side. Goes to ground. Now we'll hook up all the grounds together. Remember you should never hook up two different power sources. Hooking up the 5 volts and 9 volts together is not a good idea, but it's always best to make sure all the grounds are connected together. Next. We'll hook up our power source. Remember, like I said, you can use an eyeball battery work just fine. You don't have to have a power supply. But since I do have power supply, I'm just gonna use that. Everything should look like this. Positive and negative from the power supply or battery. I'll 
I've already got the code in Arduino, but I'll uh, paste the code in the description for you. Next, we'll power on Arduino and the power supply. And it should work like this. program in Arduino is making the motor speed up, hold, then slow down and hold, but you can adjust how long it does that in the code yourself. Thank you for watching.